Welcome to this presentation on current ceramic systems, and thank you for joining us. Uh, if you are a restorative doctor, you're almost certainly using these materials on a daily basis. So having a good understanding of ceramics is key to your practice, I believe. I think you will find this presentation extremely useful and believe that you will be able to take what you learn here back to your practice. We'll evaluate failure mechanisms for zirconia, and then we'll try to see how to improve bonding of zirconia restoration, something that is not very easy to achieve. As we do this, we'll look at some clinical solutions, and also we'll look at some clinical examples. Let's talk briefly about the failures of ceramics in the anterior dentition. And like I mentioned earlier, many systems have a greater than 90% success rate at six years. So perhaps a good starting point would be to ask this question. Is strength a good predictor of clinical performance? We have a patient that presents, like you see here, with failing composite restorations, root surfaces that are exposed and discolored, and cracks and slight fractures and chipping of the anterior dentition, this is after. And again, if we prepare adequately the occlusal surface of the bicuspids in this case, and even that lateral, we can have a better behavior of this ceramic material over time, and we very well may be able to completely eliminate radial fractures. So what are the factors then that will determine the appearance of an inner cone crack? So in conclusion, to avoid chipping, what is it that we can do? Okay, so this concludes our presentation. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope that you will be able to take the information shared here back to your office and apply it on your next ceramic cases.